enhanced vision has been a buzzword in the industry for four or five years now. A lot of people are, are dabbling in it. What is Lexavia doing differently from the other guys? Lexavia is bringing some new capabilities to EVS, and as a, as a new company, Lexavia is able to start with a clean slate and, and bring the newest technology and the, the newest features in that, that operators have been, have been asking for. What are some of the capabilities that these new technologies provide? Well, first of all, there's, there's a very unique thing that happens with the infrared industry every five to seven years. It's very similar to telecommunication equipment or, or PC components in that the sensor technology improves, the performance becomes better, you get clearer imagery, you get smaller, lighter components, more features at a time when the price and the cost goes down, just like your, your cell phones or your, your personal computer technology. And that is a point where we're at right now with, with infrared sensors. So first of all, we're able to, to take advantage of the latest generation infrared sensors that are coming on board. And the imagery is better than any, it's better than imagery I've seen in, in this class of, of components in the past 20 years. You had uh, mentioned before we started this interview that there are some specific performance things that uh, customers have been asking for from enhanced vision that they haven't been getting in the past. It reminds me of the security camera in the uh, convenience store where you, sometimes the image isn't exactly what you'd want or focused where you'd want. What you're referring to is the constant comment that I get from end users and, and have heard for many years. Can you give me an EVS system that will, that will allow me to use it at longer distances from the runway or the landing zone? If in the previous generation systems, the, the optics have, have been optimized for wider peripheral view, which gives you a good image when you're right over the runway numbers or right over the landing zone, but it, it, you kind of get pretty close before you start to optimize on the image. They've been asking for longer distance magnification with the optics, and that's what Lexavia is bringing to the, in, to the, to the industry is choices. So in lieu of building one EVS system where we tell end users this is the one size fits all for every mission, we have dozens and dozens of ways in which we can configure systems with options and optics to allow them to, to customize to their mission and, and, and to their, their requirements. Integra Release 9 sets a new standard with the easiest to use pilot interface in all of general aviation. Access to any of Release 9's powerful capabilities is as simple as pressing the desired bi-directional page key. Pressing the same key in a desired direction navigates to the clearly labeled tabs with no more guessing as to what a given pilot input would do. Avidine's Integra Release 9 is the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology and the easiest to use page and tab user interface is just one of the many benefits designed to make your flying easier and safer. Are you pursuing experimentals? Do you have a list of STCs going? How is that being handled? The market that, that we're starting out with that's most important to us is going to be the turboprops, the business jet market, and the rotary wing market. Um, there's just been a real need for a more affordable EVS with those, with those newer capabilities and those newer features for, for higher optics magnification. Uh, we are able to bring those to market at less than half the price of what the previous generation systems were a couple of years ago. So it is truly an exciting time to be involved with this technology. You've talked about the cameras. What's happening with display technology? I know that in the, in the consumer market, you know, whether it's big TVs or computer monitors or whatever, the, uh, the pixel count and, and quality has gone way, way up for the price in the past few years. Is something similar happening in avionics? Well, we're, we're very fortunate with Lexavia because we're associated with, <clears throat> with, a, with another company in, in, uh, in Florida that's been in the video display business for 20 years. So, so <clears throat> we're, we have access to, to whatever the most, most cutting edge improvement is in any of that video technology. The thing that's a little bit different now with a Lexavia system is that when you have higher magnification optics, you can use the system at greater distances from the runway, which gives you time to use infrared features like inverse polarity to change from white hot to black hot, digital image magnification, digital image enhancement, and now you've got more buttons. Well, what we do is we incorporate the control buttons for the EVS system with the video display. You know, the, the pilot is, is focusing on that video display, 
and it's one-stop shopping in terms of being able to, to make, make the button pushes exactly where the image is. So the answer is yes, there's, 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 there's a lot of human factors work that's going into the way we're, we're presenting these. We're building a new line of video displays that are, are designed for use in tight quarters cockpit locations. They're video displays that are hinged. You can have them left hinged, right hinged, flip, you know, a, a stowable up, stowable down for above or below a glare shield in either, either a, a, a 5.7 or a 6.5 inch diagonal video display. You can get these displays with, uh, with an option for night vision goggle compatibility. Um, better performance displays than we had, had four or five years ago. Yep. Freedom through innovation. It's what led us to develop Cirrus Flying 2.0, the framework for a bold new take on private aviation. And as a result, the gap between the aircraft we produce and those of our competitors continues to widen. Cirrus knows where the personal aircraft industry is headed. We're already there. Where do you see this technology going in the next five years? We all have that wonderful dream of, a, of an FAA mandate. I don't see that happening real soon. But I see it becoming more widely used in corporate aviation. You know, the, the initial take up with, with EVS systems uh, has, has been a lot of the special mission stuff. We're going to be going more mainstream over the next couple of years in terms of, of more corporate users. Yep. I know a lot of uh, people in the helicopter world have been latching onto this technology just in the past year even. It, it really benefits yeah. them. What about small piston general aviation aircraft? Will it get down to a price point and a value proposition that those folks think it's worthwhile? There are other systems that have been fielded for general aviation at a lower price point that aren't anywhere near the same kind of, of, of integrity and packaging and environmental capability of the class of systems we're talking about with a, with a Lexavia product. Uh, eventually it will get there. I, I, don't think, I don't think the infrared industry has hit the right price point for general aviation just yet. But as I mentioned earlier, infrared technology rolls over and improves every five to seven years. And one of these days you and I are going to be carrying cell phones that have an infrared sensor in the cell phone that puts an image on our, on our cell phone that we can walk around with and use our cell phone as a thermal imager. It will, it will come before you know it. Yeah, well, I'm sure it'll come faster than anybody thinks it will. Yeah. Well, Chuck, uh, give us the website. Tell us where we can get details. Details are available at uh, www.lexavia.com, L-E-X-A-V-I-A. -A. And uh, uh, I'm available uh, at, at area code 503-703-7144. Chuck, thanks for taking some time out and good luck with the product. Okay, appreciate it. Thank you very much.